welcome to all i am dr k vinayagar associate professor department of mechanical engineering sethu institute of technology karyapati now i want to want to share some information about industry 4.0 the contents are industrial revolutions introduction to industry 4.0 technologies to integrate ot with it that is operational technology with information technology industry 4.0 environment benefits of industry 4.0 and challenges in industry 4.0 industrial revolutions industry 4 1.0 that is first revolution in 1780s the first industrial revolution which is the really the revolution of industries real uh, revolution of industry it starts with invention of steam and machines it would lead to the industrial transformation of society with trains and manufacturing mechanizations like spinning wheel water wheel and steam engines industry 2.0 in 1870s it is also called as second industrial revolutions it uh, in which the electricity introduced in the industries electricity usage is introduced in industry industry field manufacturing with the help of electricity that leads to mass production and same to extend to automation electrical drives machines conveyor belts assembly lines were introduced in that period then industry 3.0 in 1970s it is also called as third industrial revolutions it's in in which everything to do with the rise of electronics and communication devices plcs sensors computers computer networks uh, were introduced in assembly lines it raised the productivity through better connectivity industry 4.0 it is the fourth revolution in industrial field it creates the bridge between digital and physical environmental environmental effects that is cyber physical systems it is the convergent process of it and ot that is information technology and operational technology introduction about industry 4.0 since the 1970s industrial process go beyond the automation that has been drive by developments in electronics and information technology the term industry 4.0 refers the further developmental stage in manufacturing industry the concept of industry 4.0 is widely used across the europe particularly in germany's manufacturing sector in english countries it is called as internet of everything or inter industrial internet in industry 4.0 machines and product products communicate each other and also the raw materials and machines interconnect interconnected by internet of things technologies to integrate ot with it the first one is internet of things connecting more and more systems devices sensors assets and people through networks ranging from wireless low powered low power wide area networks to wired high capacity networks then cloud computing cloud computing provide low cost processing and data storage solutions cyber physical systems cyber physical systems monitoring and controlling physical processes using sensors actuators and processors based on digital models of the physical world with the help of intelligent control systems embedded software cps have communication capabilities cyber physical system also have additional capabilities in manufacturing such as track and trace and remote control 
cyber physical system enable smart factories, smart logistics, and other smart areas of applications in energy, oil, and gas, and utilities. Industry 4.0 environment. In Industry 4.0, Internet of Things, that is mobile devices, wireless sensors, networks, cloud computing, big data analytics, and cyber security are the bedrock of smart factories. This, uh, on the bedrock of these the things, the, all the production, system, uh, production areas are controlled by these bedrocks. That is, uh, process, uh, raw material process, uh, machining process, inventory, logistics, or all the things are controlled by Internet of Things. So it is called as Industry 4.0. That is the real environment uh, in Industry 4.0. Benefits of Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 improve the operational efficiency and also productivity production quality, inventory management, asset utilization, time to market, workplace safety, and environmental sustainability. A digitally integrated supply chain would be based on solutions or enabling companies to share the data among customers, suppliers, and other supply chain partners. It offers integration of process control, management operations, business planning, and product life cycle. Productive maintenance. Productive maintenance, it can prevent breakdowns and reduce routine maintenance costs. In this case, recommendations can be sent to the operations, maintenance, and IT departments to address the breakdown even before it occurs. Operating cost and capital cost can be reduced by facilitating this proactive servicing. Preventive maintenance using IoT can reduce maintenance cost of factory equipment by 10 to 40 percentage and bring down equipment downtime by up to 50 percentage. Based on energy management, it results in greener operations, low energy costs, lower energy cost, lesser unplanned downtime, and more consistent quality. Use of IoT and predictive analysis, it can reduce energy consumption and operating cost significantly, that is up to 10 to 30 percentage. Production processes. Inventory 4.0 can offer a comprehensive view of production process and provide real-time controls that facilitate an uninterrupted flow of finished products and avoid, avoid the defects in production line. Additional sensors can also be installed in plants to monitor the end-to-end -end manufacturing process, address bottlenecks, and reduce energy, energy costs. Inventory management. IoT can also improve the inventory management by using weight or height detection sensors. IoT can enable condition-based automatic recording, uh, reordering, uh, depending on actual stock qualities instead of replacement establishment, uh, estimates. Artificial intelligence. Cyber physical system allows human and fact, smart factory machines to connect and communicate with each other. Not only the uh, human machine interaction, but with decentralized cyber physical system, machines can make their own decisions. Safety, remote monitoring and sensing of toxic gases, oxygen and ozone levels inside the plants can dramatically increase the workplace safety. Challenges of Industry 4.0. First one, people. In order to deploy Industry 4.0 solutions, companies need people with modern skills. 
warehouse workers were expected to be replaced by autonomous robots. New roles such as robot coordinators and data scientists can be created. Jobs will require more and more flexibility. That is, the uh, uh, jobs are hand over to the IT competency, uh, competency, knowledge of manufacturing and analytical skill persons that are the most important for this type of modern factories. In this scenario, where resistance to change is the main barrier. So, the people will need to be motivated and trained to deliver new products, services and businesses, business processes. Second uh, challenge is cyber security. With the digital factories and the digitally connected value chains, traditional IT security is not enough to protect the business. Industrial IoT devices must be highly secure by design and security integrated into existing automation and information system architectures. Companies first identify the attack surface area. It should be gets bigger. A single plant shutdown can cause production losses of million of dollars every day. In these circumstances, Securing industrial control system and ensuring cyber security cannot be understated. This can, al this can also help manufacturing organizations differentiate themselves from the competitions. Then investment. investment. In order to implement Industry 4.0 solutions, considerable in investment are required to create a robust and secure inter a network infrastructure and update or replace legacy systems. Collaboration. No single vendor can deliver all the capabilities needed to implement the Industry 4.0 solutions. Multiple technologies and devices that run on different networks. Success of Industry 4.0 is depending on close collaboration between the business, IT vendors, OT vendors and system integrators. <clears throat> Standardization. Existing manufacturing standards are insufficient to fully enable Industry 4.0 and new technical, architectural and business standards are needed. <clears throat> Although multiple standard standardization bodies and industry associations have published reference architectures and standards, there are no universal standards. IT modernization. Current industrial automation system runs on collection of technologies and networks. In future, we will need to connect business planning and logistic solutions, manufacturing operations, management solutions, and industrial control systems. Thank you. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Ah, ah, ah. In the 